Leaving my job right at the beginning of the pandemic and moving 7,000 kilometers away to France was a difficult decision I took three years ago. All these questions took a lot of my headspace. Is it worth moving to France? Would I just be better off if I went to the US instead? Fast forward now to 2023, I'm about to graduate from the MIA program at ESSEC Business School with the apprenticeship track essentially graduating with zero student debt. So here are five reasons why you should definitely consider studying in France. And no, it's not just me. I've called in my friends from HEC, ESCP and EREC as well to share the reasons. So don't forget to watch till the very end. Also, before we start the video, I'd really appreciate if you can just take five seconds of your time to hit the thumbs up icon and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that out of the way, let's start the video. Now, first off, we have the apprenticeship track. Now, the Grand Ecole MIM program at ESSEC Business School allows you to do an apprenticeship track, which is essentially a work-study contract between three parties, the school, a company and you. You study and work at the same time and for this, the company along with the government pays for your tuition fees. And with a two-year apprenticeship contract, the company and the government essentially pays your entire tuition fees, bringing down your total tuition to zero. And since you're working, the company also pays you a stipend, which ranges from around 1300 euros a month to 2200 euros a month, depending on your organization, the role, your domain, your age, your experience, and your master level at the university. So on one hand, your tuition fees essentially comes down to zero. Plus you also get enough money to live your student life while also save some money to invest. Next up, we have flexible curriculum. Most of the schools, HEC, ESSEC, ESCP, EDHEC, so on, have different types of flexible curriculum. But the best part, all of them are definitely flexible. What I feared most before starting a master's program was, what if I select the wrong domain? What if I give eight to nine months to finance only to realize I'm not a finance guy? Less than 10% of the courses are actually fixed to a particular trimester while the 90% is totally customizable. I myself did two to three trimesters, then a summer internship, then started an apprenticeship in company A, switched to company B, and then went on an exchange to University of Toronto in Canada to study MBA at Rotman School. Still not convinced? Well, let me bring out the big guns. Let's hear it from Mayank, Vikram and then Joshua. So, one of the reasons that I chose France as a place to study was the very friendly visa policies as well as a clear path to getting citizenship. See, in France, it's not the easiest thing to do to get a job, it is true. But the good thing is that once you do get a job, getting a visa is relatively simple, especially if you've studied here. It's not like the US where there's a lottery system where you may get it, you may not get it. You may be able to renew it, you may not be able to renew it. Like, there's a whole uncertainty there in the US. But in France, the situation is relatively a lot simpler. Once you graduate from an accredited and eligible French school, you're automatically entitled to a one-year APS or an RECE visa, which is basically a job searching visa. And actually for Indian students, this visa can even be renewed once again, making it a total of two years. And during that time, you can either search for a job or you can start a business of your own. Once you do find a job or once you do start a business, you can apply for a change in status and get the right kind of visa for what you're doing. The best part is that if you get a job with a salary of more than 41,023 euros, and I know that number is true for 2023, you get a four-year passport talent visa, which is renewable. And this passport talent visa has three main features. The first one, as I mentioned, it is renewable. So you can renew it as long as you still have a job. The second one is that you can easily change jobs as long as your new job meets the salary criteria as well. And the third benefit is that you can get unemployment benefits if you lose your job involuntarily. Like if you get laid off, for example. If you don't meet the salary requirement, you can still get a work visa. It's just that I think on that work visa, it's a little harder to change jobs. Oh, and after living in France for two years and filing income taxes three times, you can apply for citizenship in France as well and stay here permanently. Normally, the wait is five years, but if you've studied a two year or longer degree in France, the wait time is reduced to two years. So yeah, I think these are like two very, very strong reasons, at least for me to study in France. And I think this is something that you could consider as well. Hey everyone, Vikram here. So I'm currently pursuing Masters in Management at ESCP Business School um, and I've been living in France for almost two years now. So here's my take on studying in France with regards to exposure. Firstly, France is known for its prestigious business school that offer world-class education and management. Studying here will expose you to a diverse range of opportunities that will help you level up your skills and knowledge, which will be highly valuable in today's globalized job market. Additionally, studying in France will also provide you with excellent networking opportunities with industry professionals and peers from different parts of the world which can open up doors to many future career prospects. Lastly, it also gives you an opportunity to learn an additional language 
which is French in this case, which is an essential asset in the international business world. So if you're considering studying abroad, then France should definitely be on the top of your choice list. Now, another reason that France was an attractive destination for me was peace of mind. When you move here, either your school, your education status or your work puts in money from your salary or from scholarships into social security. So the next time you have a problem with your teeth or with your knee, all these things happen to me. You don't have to worry about how much that's going to cost. That's a great peace of mind to have. Also, as a student, you get this money called CAF, Caisse d'Allocation Familiale which just gives you money because you don't earn money. So in your professional world, if you're between jobs, you get this CAF money or chômage money, and it's calculated as 80% of the average you were making the last couple of years. Also, as a student, you can expect great part-time income. I used to work for four hours a day and only during the weekdays and make 900 euros in Lille, where my rent was 450 and CAF gave me 177 euros out of 450 back. So financially, there was a lot of peace of mind. And that's it. I hope the four of us gave you enough insights to consider studying in France. If you liked the video, do hit the thumbs up icon to let YouTube know you enjoyed it. That really helps a lot. Also, don't forget to check out Mayank, Vikram's and Joshua's channel. All of them are linked in the description below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.